I talk about in chapter six, the Voyager paddling songs or the Chanson d'Aviron. And singing Voyageurs is something of, uh, I, you know, I would say a stereotype of the fur trade, although I'm not sure how well known they are today. They used to be much better known, especially 100 or 150 years ago. But the Voyager paddling songs were a real part of their working lives. Um, the song set the pace of travel and synchronized the start of the paddling. This was something that, you know, the experienced voyageurs, uh, usually the, at, at the stern or the bow of the canoe, the, the bou, would start with a call, you know, they would say, mon revenant de boulanger, and the men in the canoe would go, mon revenant de boulanger, because they'd be following that rhythm that was set by the call. Um, so it really was a, an important part of the mechanics of travel. Um, but, you know, oh, there's so much to say here. Why do I, ah, oh, should I get into it? Um, I'm tempted for someone to ask me the question first before I get into it. Okay, I'll just, I don't, I won't get into it, but, you know, one of my, my biggest moments of being in the archives and finding something significant and being, and exclaiming, despite my, you know, better uh, better wisdom and certainly you're not supposed to yell woohoo in the archives and I certainly got a shh from the archivist but it happened regarding these Voyager songs and making a pretty remarkable find in in Paris. Uh, 